my name is Keitha Newman and uh, I'm from Bancroft. We live in the backwoods, about 20 minutes outside of town. I am a visual artist, so I'm mostly a painter, but I do a lot of drawing and some printmaking as well. I first started painting or thought about becoming a painter when I was 19 and I was visiting my mum's cousin and she is a painter, a watercolour painter, and she gave me some lessons and I just fell in love with painting. It made me feel so good. My father had died recently, so for the first time in a long time I felt really great. It was like a high. So I just kind of thought, wow, wouldn't it be awesome to be a painter and just be able to do this all the time? For living off the grid, we had to basically um, take what we got when we moved up here. So the, the cabin was just kind of sitting there. It had no running water. There was no hydro. This is a, a very large property. It's 200 acres. It needs a lot of attention, so at that time it was getting a little bit run down and the fields were growing up. We came up here and got to work. At the time we moved up, um, I knew there was a little art gallery in Bancroft, but I wasn't really aware of much going on as far as the art scene went. I was approached by the art gallery. They kind of provided my first introduction to the people of the area by putting on a show for me. It's good to have somewhere in town where I can tell people that my art is showing. Living up here, we're just completely immersed in nature. When I go on my walks every day, the plants change from, from week to week. The creatures change from week to week. Like right now, I'm, I'm looking at lots of monarch butterflies and caterpillars I'm, and the, the milkweed flowers. And the milkweeds are turning into pods. The caterpillars are turning into chrysalises. So I'm, I'm trying to capture, um, you know, that change in the season in my art. It covers all times of the year and um, it's kind of a limitless source of inspiration. The reason we're staying off grid is we love the independence of it. We love being out in the country and enjoying nature and the peacefulness of it. When I compare it to how I felt in the city, I'd say that I just feel much more alive out here. I feel that I'm really connected to my environment and that I have to take actions every day to, um, to live in this environment. I intend to be buried on this property. At least my ashes, anyway. So it's kind of interesting to know exactly where I want to be for the rest of my life. I don't know how many people have that, so I feel blessed.